guys and welcome back to my channel today I have a cooking video for you guys you all have been asking for it so here it is today we're gonna make instapot sour cream pork chops okay now this recipe can be made in a slow cooker because I know somebody's gonna ask the answer is yes but you will need to do the sauteing and the browning on a stove top first okay so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add a tablespoon of butter or you could also use coconut oil um, in my Instapot and it is on sear or saute right now okay so you do want to make sure that it is on medium high on um, the saute setting and then to that I'm going to add half of a large onion and basically what you're going to do with that is that you're just going to saute that until it is translucent. I mean, once they said they were adding onions to it, like even if you're not an onion fan, onions add so much flavor to your food and I am here for it. So I am going to saute those onions and then to that I'm going to add my pork chops now you can use bone-in you can use boneless whichever you prefer I am using bone-in chops in my opinion they are so much more tender and all of that but boneless pork chops will work just as well especially in an instapot because they come out so tender you guys now, don't skip this, this step right here. You want to do the browning because all of that goodness from the browning is gonna be at the bottom of this pan and it is going to make some great gravy. So, whatever you do, don't skip this part, okay? Now, you can use whatever protein you like. Um, and here I'm just showing you guys that I use the body of complete seasoning to season my chops. The recipe calls for salt and pepper, but I don't do a whole lot of salt on our food. You know, I just choose to use the complete seasoning instead. And I just love the flavor that it gives um, our food. And as I was saying, if you don't eat pork, you can do chicken with this recipe. You can even do steak with this recipe. It is honestly up to you, but we are pork chop, pork chop fans in this house. So this recipe was right up my alley and plus it was so easy to make. So once you're done browning your chops, you wanna turn that off of the saute setting. And you guys see all that? <laughs> that is so, go make some great pot liquor, people. So to that, I'm going to add one cup of beef stock. One teaspoon of Worcestershire sauce. And I am just going to let that glaze the pan and get all of that pot liquor off of there. Well, I call it pot liquor, but technically it's not liquor, but it's gonna get all that goodness off the bottom of the pan. And you want all that because that's gonna give your chops so much more flavor. And then we're going to add the chops back in. We want to put all the kids back in the pool and let them cook. Now here I am putting the setting on pressure cook and I am going to do that on high for eight minutes okay and once the eight minutes are over you want it to naturally release the steam okay don't don't release it yourself give it an additional five minutes so it will naturally release on its own I'm crazy it's just the way that I get every time that I am with you mm. your laughter takes me to heaven I just want to make you repeat it and repeat Complicated with you. 
And here is what it's looking like after the eight minutes plus the five minutes that we gave it to release the pressure. It is perfectly delicious at this point. You can honestly serve it just like this and it will be a great meal for you and your family. However, it is called Instapot Sour Cream or Chops. So we're gonna elevate this recipe just a little bit more. So I have removed the chops and to that I am gonna add my thickening agent. I have added a teaspoon of cornstarch with just a tad bit of water and that's just gonna thicken my um, gravy just a little bit more. And then also to that I'm gonna add a third of a cup of sour cream. And I'm just whisking that and incorporating those um, ingredients together. You could also use arrowwood, a teaspoon of arrowwood to the um, mixture to thicken it as well. I do believe arrowwood is keto friendly. Please don't quote me on that. My keto people, don't y'all come for me, okay? <laughs> I am not on keto. I am not a keto expert. I do believe that it is keto friendly, but again, don't quote me. We not keto over in this family. So I don't really know. Okay? Thank you. <laughs> okay, now we are serving ours with mashed potatoes. But again, if you are on keto, I know that you can have mashed cauliflower instead. So do you whatever works for you, okay? And to that, of course, I'm gonna add that beautiful pork chop and the gravy. Friends, the gravy is everything, okay? It is everything. So I'm gonna add that to it. And again, you can stop here if you would like. Um, you could add vegetables to it. You can you can you can do it up okay I just add a little bit of um, seasoning to it you know some to give it some green and then also you guys can see that I'm gonna add green beans to ours broccoli would be great mixed vegetables would be great um, it, it's, it's really your call the sky is the limit and you guys, this recipe was so easy. It is great for any day of the week. You know, please let me know in the comments if you are going to try this recipe or if you have tried the recipe. I would love to hear from you. If you're new here, my name is Felicia, also known as Miss Fee Marie, and I would love to have you stay and subscribe and become a member of the Ever Growing Fee Marie family. And to my family, hey y'all, hey, thank you guys so much for tuning in, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!